Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you want to support me more, go follow me over at Twitch, at twitch.tv slash RetroMarioTwitch. And make sure to subscribe here on the YouTube channel, because I would love to get a silver play button, I would love to see 100,000 subscribers. Anyway, enough of me taking up your time, enjoy the video. <laughs> my, my, what an intriguing smell. It reminds me of an Hashira I once fought and then ate him alive. <laughs> oh, you're not the same person I thought you were. You're different, but you have similar scent. Do you happen to be related? <laughs> my, my, what an intriguing human. And your scent is so delectable. <laughs> What? Are you surprised at my appearance? Have you never seen a demon like this before? Hmm? Well, it seems to be your lucky day. Because you've met one of the most powerful demons there is. I am a upper moon. <laughs> Well, we can't let this meal go to waste now, can I? Ooh, but how to get the blood from inside of your body into me? There's so many ways that I could do that. Maybe send one of my babies over to you, have them feast upon your flesh. Or even I just trap you in one of my jars and then squeeze the life out of you to get that delicious human blood out of your body. Mm. My mouth is just watering just thinking about it. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're a demon slayer. Oh no. That's not good. And here I thought my meal was going to be easy to catch. But now, I have to put some effort. Oh, what a shame, really. But, Lord Muzan did say some food may not be easy to catch. <laughs> I would love to see you try to get me. <laughs> Go on, try to choose which part I'm in. You'll never find me. <laughs> No, not that one. <laughs> oh, so close, but you didn't find me. <laughs> oh, playing with my food is a lot more tiring than I thought it would be. You know... Playing with my food like this does get me quite famished. <laughs> mm. 
My, my, you are one strong swordsman, aren't you? What trouble you would give me if I were not a upper moon. <laughs> I shouldn't really be toying with you. It's not fair. You are so underscored. Skilled compared to me. This fight seems more one-sided than anything. And with all the delicious food my children have been gathering and eating for themselves, I gain stronger and stronger within this fight and conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Face it, swordsman. You're not strong enough to fight me, are you? Such a shame, really. To have to die like this. But if it were anyone else and they would uh, worship me, they should feel honored to get killed by Gyoko. <laughs> hmm? You beg with your life as mercy? Groveling at my feet? Oh my, my. Aren't you pathetic? <laughs> the things that I could do with you. The meals that I could make you into. It's quite... Outstanding. <laughs> The things that I could do with you. All sorts of things. And maybe even I can bring you to Lord Muzan as a gift of some sort to condone his ravishing hunger. <laughs> it makes me wonder quite a lot the things that we could do with this body of yours. Anything, really. You say you will do anything for you to live? Hmm. Well, there is just uh, one thing that could possibly let you live throughout everything here. The only way I see you trying to live is you becoming a demon by taking my blood. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Taking my blood so you yourself can become a powerful demon like myself. So, what do you say? Do you wish for your freedom in return? You would be working for me. And of course, you'll be under the watch of Lord Muzan and I. So, little swordsman, do we have a deal? Good. <laughs> mm. Now hold still. This should only pinch. <laughs> there you are. You 
like how the feeling of this warm hot blood going inside of your veins, slowly turning you into a demon. Although, there's one thing I didn't tell you. A demon's blood is highly dangerous to a human. There's only about a 40% chance you'll live. So, if you do live, please come and try and find me. I would love to take you to Lord Muzan. Have fun! <laughs> <laughs>